Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Rankable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys Show. Yay! Every week we bring you the latest in hacking electronics and making your devices better. Or using other things in a different way. For instance, the Xbox Connect sensor. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Yes. That thing over there. Yeah, so they're selling millions of bazillions of units. Bazillion, new word. Yeah, but so let's you, say you don't need an Xbox. No, let's say yours burned <laughs> up in a fiery explosion. What can you do with it? Uh, well, you can connect it to your computer. Oh. Your um, PC, Black, Mac, Linux, Windows, machine. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but what we're covering today is just how to uh, get started, really. Yeah, so we, we found the simplest method uh, available right now. For Mac OS X. For Mac OS X is actually use Quartz uh, Composer. Somebody made this awesome little plug-in that you yeah, just... they took the Open Connect project and made a plug-in for Composer, right? Right, right. So the cool thing with this is you can just kind of drag it in there and you can take all the different elements of Composer and you can like mess around and link them together. And... So for the people that don't know what Composer is, what is Quartz Composer? Quartz Composer is kind of like the back end that they use for Final Cut and Motion and all kinds of real-time 3D video graphics processing, okay. which is perfect for Connect. Because what Connect it actually is, if you don't know already, is a bunch of sensors on a bar. <laughs> and uh, one of those sensors is an RGB camera, so pretty standard. The other two are depth sensors. Right. And there's an IR emitter. It shoots out this grid, or well, a whole We're bunch of... We're getting right now. Yeah, a whole bunch of dots behind our backs that you can't even see because it's infrared light. And there's infrared sensors that pick those up and then it calculates the difference of them and then it figures out the depth. And it makes a depth image, which, you know, the plugin takes. Right. Or either the plugin's making the depth image. I don't know where that image is being calculated at. Maybe at the connect, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, there's... Here's how, here's how to get started. Let, <laughs> let's show you. <laughs> so you need to download the connect tools and a test composition. Okay, and then you go ahead and you place the uh, plugin under your, your library folder for your home directory and you create a folder called graphics. And then underneath that one, you, you create another folder called Quartz Composer Patches. You wanna keep this directory in mind if you wanna use any additional patches for the Quartz Composer that other people have made. Mm -hmm. And then you just drag that plugin in there. And then you can try out the test composition. Hey, there we go. Now this is me with a regular depth map on the right-hand side and left-hand side is a regular RGB image. If you look at Quartz, uh, the little purple is, is the actual plug-in. And then these are your standard different utilities that you have within. Yeah, these are the other plugins uh, that are available within Composer. So this is another test composition that I downloaded from the same website that uh, kind of maps the depth image to the RGB image. It gives you kind of a pseudo 3D image. And this is all using the Open Connect. Yes. Lid. And then what's this one right here? Uh, so this is um, kind of a more precise one that, that, a, that a gentleman has developed. Is this done in Quartz Composer or is this his own compiled no, application? No, this is his own compiled application. And he's even got a, a special pattern that he's printed out to do calibration. So that way, that's why it looks much better than the one that we were doing inside oh, of Quartz Composer. Okay. So this is just one connect right here. So you can kind of see the, the 3D the amount of you know depth information that it's capturing it obviously can't get behind him or all the way on both sides now this one right here is using two connect sensors and so he's got them uh, kind of at an angle from each other and he's able to capture both sides of this box and the, the face of it and he believes if he had another one he could even get further around it and here we have some motion tracking that's tied to an animated puppet and we, or you're thinking that this one was done in Composer as well. It possibly, it could, I think it could be done. And then this one here, I'm not sure how they did it. I'm sure they did their own code. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's pretty cool, the different projects people are doing with the Connect, yeah, the Open Connect yeah. software. And uh, if you go to our homepage, Two Smart Guys, forward slash connect. We'll have a link to uh, the drivers and the utilities and uh, links to the full length videos that we were demoing in our how to. 
Yeah. And uh, hopefully in the upcoming weeks, we'll take some of these projects as they release there. So source code. Hopefully. And show you guys how to do them. Kind of dive well. into them and say that this is what it's doing. Uh, maybe even try to you know, come up with something on our own. Yeah, something original. Or if maybe, you guys have it, maybe it's make a freaking dance game. <laughs> you know, we can actually play. Raggable was playing it before the show. That's why he's all sweaty. <laughs> I was running a marathon. <laughs> I was saving a baby from a burning building, and I had to run in and run out. Uh, uh, anyways, if your house burns down to a crisp, you'll probably wish that you had backed up all your files on your computer. Yes. So when your house does burn down, what should you do? Um, Before it burns down, what should well, you do? Right now, you should go to mosey.com and sign up for Mosey Home. And use our code. Use our code too smart, and you'll save fifteen percent, like for permanently, life. on your monthly um, prescription. Life. It's less than five bucks a month. It's the way to go. I, I use it personally. It's unlimited backup. Everything on your computer. So, and it backs up in the background when, so it doesn't eat up the bandwidth when you're using it. It's cool stuff. Okay, can I, can I lie down now? Mac, PC. I want to lie down now. Anyways, check out our show every Monday at twosmartguys.com. I'm going to lie down now. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. 